This is an introduction to my final year project, a virtual interface system to aid those with disabilities. In effect, it's designed to be an imaginary keyboard existing only in the computer itself, activated via motion sensing. The hardware itself is all rather simple. The bulk of the machine is merely two Wii remotes, accurately positioned in order to track several infrared points. The two are then triangulated together to build a 3D space in which we are tracking. The point itself is merely an eye or emitter of some kind, attached to the hand. Here I've broken open the Wii sensor bar and added some sellotape. The keyboard is only made of paper and foam, and only acts as a visual aid. It has no electronic purpose and this would work perfectly fine without it. The device works like an ordinary keyboard. When your finger is in the right position, and low enough, it will activate a key press. This goes through the computer like an ordinary input. This removes a lot of the issues that most new motion sensing technologies fall into, requiring programs to support your device. It is also roughly the same size as a keyboard in this example, being in fact slightly smaller. However, this is not a limitation, as the interface is accurate within 1cm up to roughly 1 meter. It also has the advantage of being far cheaper than custom created devices for disabled people. The device I'm mimicking right now is a one finger keyboard, generally used with some form of mouse stick. These devices retail at $650 a pop. This is the issue with current devices for disabled interfacing. You can't mass produce them. A keyboard for mouth sticks only works for mouth sticks, while a keyboard for one handed people only works for one handed people. This means you lack the economics of mass production. However, this device, rather than $650, cost me less than $100 to build. The price of two Wii remotes and two wireless sensor bars. You could easily get the price of each system down to below $40 with mass production. And it will work with every kind of disability that requires a custom interface. This interface took me four hours to build, excluding drying time, and most of it in the arts and crafts section. There are issues with this interface. The lack of tactile feedback to keep down costs makes typing weird, and since the accuracy is only within one centimeter, occasionally you will miss the keys. You also need to keep in mind the cameras must have a clear view of your finger. However, possible expansion for individual improvement is immense. For instance, here, I've made the keys that type out the words with, would, and have, as well as my name, Cameron. However, there is no reason why more complicated interfaces couldn't be built, and these possible applications will be shown in later videos. If you live in the Nottingham area, believe this system could help you with a disability before the 20th of April, or wish to get in contact with me via email to discuss this, you can find me at n 27 3046 at ntu.ac.uk. Thanks a lot for your time and I hope you've enjoyed this little thing I've been working on.